Hi, Alan Schimmel at uh, DevOps.com here at DevOps Enterprise Summit 2015. Here with Jim Stoneham. Uh, Jim's pretty well known within the DevOps space. And Jim, welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. Jim, you're speaking here at DevOps Enterprise. Why don't you tell our viewers maybe what you're speaking on? Right, so uh, actually at Re AWS reInvent last year, Gene Kim cornered me in a bar and basically was asking me about my background and I was talking about my time at Yahoo actually. And we, among other things, one of the things we did is we took the Yahoo Answers product, which you probably have used, I'm guessing, or your maybe mm -hmm. kids for homework or whatever. And we took that from Waterfall to Agile and like dramatically increased the business results from that product. So uh, he asked me to go back in time and talk about 2009 when I was working at Yahoo and bring that story to the audience as a case study, basically. So that's what I'm here to do. Um, some of the things that I learned from that I use in my current company, Opsmatic, but basically it's all about Yahoo Answers in 2009 uh, and 2010 for today. And you know what, Jim, one of, we, we've spoken to other folks from who used to be from the Yahoo organization, let's say. And, and Yahoo was a company that you know, moved to Agile, or at least pockets of it, mm -hmm. moved to Agile and DevOps relatively early in the, in the process Same here, things, in the yeah. time frame, yeah. yeah. Um, and then your, your company now is Opsmatic. Right. Give our listeners a little bit of background on that. Yeah, so um, one of the things I learned actually at Yahoo, working with the Flickr team, working with Answers and some of the other properties, is this issue of Brown. You've got, we have lots of server telemetry metrics, lots of graphs and all that, but we had nothing that was tracking like the live state of that server. Like what is the stuff on that server? What package version? What kernel level settings? Things like that. So all this configuration level data was pretty much a black box unless you went out and grepped logs to look for that information. So after building something like this over the last couple of companies I've been in, at Opsmatic we're really focused on giving ops teams and dev teams and DevOps teams this kind of live state view of everything on their servers, like what's changing, who changed it, when did it change, which is fantastic for te teams that are trying to move fast and want to be confident about those changes they're pushing out. Uh, and also things, you know, things that everybody has to do, like audit and compliance and security and things like that. So we're the kind of the system of record for all that state data about the hosts themselves. Got it. Um, Jim, so this is your first DevOps Enterprise Summit? You weren't here last year. I was here last year as a, actually as a sponsor. Uh, I had some fantastic conversations last year, which is, uh, which is why I'm back again this year. And what do you, obviously there's twice as many people here last, from last year, but beyond the amount of people, what about the quality of the uh, presentations, the conversations, what, what's different? Well, I mean, it's like everything times 10 compared to last year. Like, you know, twice as big of an audience, but it feels like way, way bigger. Um, lots of conversations. Um, everyone, you know, everyone's already investing in DevOps and has some success under their belt, but they're looking at that next level of refinement, and that's what's really exciting to me. Is like we're we're moving beyond like the basics to like the advanced topics, if you will, and people are recognizing, you know, yeah, we need some tools, we need, but it's all about culture. Like people are, are actually refining the dialogue, which I think is is going to propel things forward like a lot faster. So I'm Agreed. really excited about that. Agreed. Jim, if you could look into a crystal ball, what do you think we're looking at in the next, let's say, three to five years? <laughs> um, I mean, I think you know we we're at a, we're a pretty enterprise focused show, and we're seeing like the Gene doesn't like to call them unicorns. But we're looking at the early adopters of kind of DevOps methodology, and certainly three to five years from now, it'll be like you know the exception, not the norm, uh, to find people who are you know not using DevOps methodologies in their teams. Um, so I think you know. It's going to be pervasive, um, and, but again, I think we're still going to be here because it, it can keep getting better. Like the, the kind of core principle for me of DevOps is like, how do we work together as a team collaboratively to keep making things better? So I, I, I can't wait to see the conversations we're going to see like here in five years. It's going can to be just, just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Jim Stoneham, thank you very much for for the support and for speaking here at DevOps Enterprise Summit. Uh, looks like we're running out of our time, so. Uh, Again, thank you very much on behalf of IT Revolution and Electric Cloud and DevOps.com. This is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com.